Well, you know, even within the context of your question, you're saying you've just learned this mm -hmm. and you're making some decisions right away. And uh, no doubt there are some timely things you do need to decide right away. But there's also some major issues here you're grappling with that don't require an immediate decision. And uh, you've got to consult a lot of people. I mean, this is such an important issue for your son. And uh, you've got to consult some other specialists, uh, some other families that have experienced the same kind of thing and uh, become a sponge for learning what you can before you make a decision. Because no doubt right now you're making these decisions kind of on instinct and thinking about what I really want for my son and uh, maybe not necessarily with all the information. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. And this, here's this couple, I mean, as every parent would, grappling with these two truths. One, wanting the most that's possible for this child and not wanting to you know, accept what's less than the best but at the very same time wanting to equip them and communicate love and that there's nothing, you know, that, that exactly who they are right. is exactly who you love, you know, right. and accept. And I can see parents, you know, and there's, there is this thing of iron sharpening iron. Both of those things are important messages for this child, you right. know, that you won't stop at anything to help, but that you love them the way they are and that they're perfect the way they are. And yeah. so, and it's a struggle. And Somehow the two of you have to come to terms with it because you're both the caregivers and the architects of the future for this child. Right, but you are going to learn from one another as right. you go through this process to make the very best decision you can together.